Uh, I want to share with you just a little glimpse of how I came to the Lord. And this was about 18 years ago, which is amazing because I'll be 70 next year, uh, next week, and I grew up in the church. So it's a bit remarkable to be over 50 years old and not be saved, but to think you're a Christian. So um, about 18 years ago, I left Daphne and I went to live with a lady down the Gold Coast, uh, which, as you know, is not a good thing to do. But after a few months, um, I'll spare you the detail, but after a few months, things really went wrong, and I was really in a desperate situation. And I end up having a lunch with a ex-South African friend of mine, Pastor Cyril Brown, up at the Alex, which is a good thing to do. Go to the Alex with a friend for lunch, you know, if you're desperate. There are much worse things you can do. Anyway, he was a pastor, and he said to me, Look, look, Yoss, there's only one solution for you. You need to give your heart to the Lord. And I said to him, Cyril, I've tried that, and it didn't work for me. And uh, I said, but I'm desperate. You tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. He said, okay, tonight before you go to bed, go on your knees, give you my heart, come into my life, and run everything. Nowadays, the picture I would use if I lead somebody through that kind of prayer in the healing rooms, I would say, I give you the steering wheel of my life. I take my hands off. God, you take the steering wheel. I said, okay, I can do that. I'm desperate. I mean, how hard can that be? So that night, I was alone in the unit down the Gold Coast. This other lady had moved out. The furniture had moved out. I was sleeping on a little mattress on the floor. So I went on my knees next to my little mattress on the floor. And I said, God, I surrender to you. I give you my heart. Please come into my heart and run my life. Take over the steering wheel. I didn't hear any angels singing. I didn't see any lights flashing. I didn't see anything. I didn't sense anything. But I really meant that. It was a cry from my heart to God. And I went to sleep on my little mattress on the floor. Do you want to tell the rest of the story? <laughs> God is the God of miracles. <laughs> Those five years he was away, oh, the five months he was away, I was first so angry. I wanted to wring his neck. <laughs> and if he was close, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, and it took me a couple of weeks to realize I must forgive him. If I don't forgive him, my body is going to pay a price. And the Bible says so. So I said, okay, God, I don't want to forgive him, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I choose to forgive him. So I first forgave him with my head until I, it dropped to my heart. Any case, so in the meantime, I, I prayed to the Lord. And I said, Lord, I've been living with this guy. We've been married for so many years. I've been praying for him for years and years and years. This is just nonsense. Just cut off this, bring the, sort him out, and bring him back. <laughs> and uh, the Lord did that. And it actually went so fast. I said, Lord, this is too fast. You know, I thought I had two years. <laughs> so when he wanted to come back, I wasn't ready. You know, I, I just, oh, Lord Jesus, help me. <laughs> so we won't go into all the detail, but God is good. And I just say thank you, Lord, for our amazing, amazing <laughs> marriage. <laughs> and this God has just done miracles as you cannot imagine. If you know the old Yas, and you know that it was the old Aubrey, and the Lord gave him a new name. Tonight it's the new Yas. I just say thank you, Lord. I praise you. It is a miracle as you cannot believe. Thank you. Thank you for speaking for me when I couldn't speak for myself. But I just want to say, looking back at what happened in my life, 
for 50 plus years, I had given my head to the Lord. And nowhere in the Bible does God say, give me your head. He wants your heart. And I think something that doesn't, often doesn't get really emphasized in the church, your will is involved as well. You have to submit your will to God. You have to submit everything to God, not just your head. So giving my head to God didn't do anything for him or for me for over 50 years. But crying out to him and giving him my heart did everything.